Hi, I'm Michael Dennis from Next Step Agency, and I'm here to talk to you today about Altest Pro's AT34 motor tester. Now, you may be used to testing motors with a multimeter or a megometer. A megometer is used to detect ground faults on it, whereas a multimeter is used to detect continuity. Uh, in short, these are kind of late stage tests. If it's got these kind of issues, your motor is already in big trouble. But this is where the AT34 comes in. The AT34 is an advanced meter that does test for continuity and ground faults, but it also tests for phase imbalance, tests for the health of your stator and your rotor, and it has all of this done in a quick battery of tests that we're going to go through today, shoot a quick video, and it's straightforward. It will guide you through it. It will tell you how to do it, even off the screen here. So it's nice and simple. And doing these kind of tests can catch issues beforehand, so you see them before the motor fails. The advantage to this is that instead of the motor failing in the middle of the day and bringing the whole production of a business down to a screeching halt, you're able to plan your downtime. You're able to spot, well, this motor is deteriorating. Uh, we're gonna have to send that up for service. We can swap out this other motor and let's plan to do that on this date when we have time. So it allows you to be in charge of your motor instead of your motor being in charge of you, which is a great thing. So let's go through a quick demo. Okay, so we're ready to test this motor. Now, as you can see, I've connected in the leads here. We've got black, blue, red. They're labeled right on here, the yellow, the ground lead. It's all labeled, nice and simple, so you can do that. And I've got these clipped in here. So we're gonna go on the induction test here, and it'll actually ask us whether we wanna do all the other tests here. So it immediately says, connect the blue clip and the yellow clip blue to number two and yellow to frame ground. These are already set there, so I'm just gonna click OK. We're not gonna do the CDF and cap test because we are connected directly to the motor, but we are gonna do the insulation test, which is exactly what it was telling me the yellow and the blue for. So I hold down the button until I get a solid number, which is that five, and it has passed. So we're on to the next test. It says to connect the black to phase one and the Red to phase three. And now it's doing the static test. The static test is automatic. I will uh, tilt this up so we can get a better view here. And it just automatically sends different voltages. It checks the resistance on the phases of the motor. So we get a full test done by that. So right now, We've already done the insulation test, which is passed, the static test, which it is doing right now. That static test essentially also does the continuity as well. Uh, all the tests fail if the continuity is not there. So we're already testing for more than what a multimeter and a megometer do. And I believe this is the last phase here. And we're going to do the dynamic test. So I'm going to select yes. And it's going to tell me to put the rotor into the start position. I've got a handle on there. You can use a strap wrench. And then you just need to steadily turn it. Now, it beeps about once every second. So what I'm aiming for is four beeps of rotation which allows me to keep track of this for a nice steady hand on there. If you are jerking it around, you may get some weird readings. So you do want it to be a steady rotation as you're doing it. So that's the first phase down. We're on to the second. So we're on two, one. Just this easy. Now this is a type of testing you can do out in the field where you have to gain access to the rotor. Uh, you don't necessarily have to do this dynamic test. 
but it gets you more information. And it's also a great test to do on your motors that you're about to install to make sure that you haven't gotten a dud motor. So we're on the last phase here. So to avoid putting in a new defective motor to replace your broken down motor, test them. And you can test them the same way. You can keep track of it all in the unit and in the software. You just need a nice, steady hand. Okay, so we're finished our battery of tests here. So we've got the resistance, which is okay. And there's our results. The stator, which is okay. We can see that all graphed out there. The rotor, which is okay. See that? Contamination we didn't test for because we are direct here. And the insulation passes as well. So we save. And I'm just going to put in the model number of the test motor that I'm using here. Saved. And we exit. So now we've exited. We're going to start up the software and we're going to upload to the software. Nice and easy. Okay, so we are ready to upload our data off of our AT34. We're plugged in via USB to the computer, and we just need to transfer that data. On the AT34, we're going to go into the settings, and we're going to go into PC communication. Ready, waiting. Over here, we're going to go upload from instrument, and click start. Six uploads. Excellent. And we are going to import pending. So import pending can take all of our tests and assign them to our test motors. So, or to our motors that we've been testing. So I'm going to get it to auto map everything. Oh, sorry, need to select everything. And auto map, there we go. And import. It is now all in here and we can look at the graphs. So 40070 is our standard test motor here with no fault selected. And we can look at the graphs and compare them. If I have done different sets of tests, for example, down here, this is a test without the dynamic, just the induction static test, then it doesn't show up, but it all shows up here and it's all good. There we go. That's it. We have reports here, good stator winding, good rotor. Now, if I look at one that has a fault on it, let's go for shorted wiring fault. Stator winding issue found, repeat test to confirm it. Good rotor. So we have the stator is inconsistent here. So we can spot these issues before the engine dies and it'll report them. It'll report them over time so we can compare them to previous readings. Nice and simple. So that's it. If you have any questions, certainly email us, sales at nextstepagency.com, or come to our website, www.nextstepagency.com. Over this video, you'll see a suggestion for another video and a subscribe button. You should definitely subscribe because we're going to have a lot more of these videos coming out. Thank you. Bye.